back again. I hope you guys are doing well. So guys, today I have with me this car, which is the all new Mercedes Benz A Class. In this video, as always, I am going to give you guys a detailed walk around of the car. By the end of the video, I'll also tell you guys how is it to drive. We'll also talk about the pricing of the car and there are n number of features which this car actually gets. So we'll talk about everything and more in this video. So let's really start off with the walk around of the car. Let's quickly start off with the front profile of the Mercedes Benz A Class. By the way, this is the A200 uh, variant. By the way, and there is also a 800D variant which is available, which also gets a diesel engine. This one is the petrol. By the way. We'll talk about the diesel some other day, but today we'll focus on the petrol engine of the car. Starting off from the front profile, right at the front, yeah, you have your big Mercedes Benz logo. Yeah, you again have one Mercedes Benz logo provided. So there are two logos at the front, and yeah, you have this uh, diamond studded sort of a grill right here. There's some amount of chrome as well at the front. Talking about the headlamps, now this car actually gets projector headlamps, and these are obviously all LED lights right here. So this is basically your LED DRL. This is your projector, and this is basically. I think for your high beam and low beam. Let me actually, you know, just uh, switch on the this thing. By the way, here you have your controls for your lights. I think it is already switched on right here. So because of the sunlight, the sun is actually too harsh right now. And because of that, I don't really know if you guys are able to see the DRLs properly. So that is about the headlight right here. Moving on to the side now, here as you can see, in order to actually maintain symmetry, they have actually uh, put this design right here. So that again looks quite nice. Moving on to the side profile of the car here, as you can see, this is how it looks like. By the way, this car is based on the new design language which the E class as well as the C class actually uses, and this is how the car looks like from the side. It actually looks quite big in terms of the size and. And I'll also show you guys uh, the amount of space which you have in the second row. But uh, this is how the side profile of the car looks like. Now they have actually used, uh, you know, chrome on your windows. So this is the chrome strip which covers the window of the car. Very sophisticated, very elegant look you get from the A class. It surely looks quite a lot sophisticated. And uh, here, as you can see, now obviously you have your body colored ORVM here you have your indicator provided now this car actually misses out on a passive entry button so you don't really have any passive entry button right here and it also does not really open the door as soon as you put your hand in hand inside it but here this is the key of the car here you have four buttons on offer there are three buttons actually this is to lock the car this is to unlock the car and this is for your boot opening as soon as I lock the car as you can see the mirrors will automatically fold and when you unlock it your mirrors will open up let me quickly show you guys, let me give you guys a glimpse of the interior. So this is how the dashboard and the interior looks like. We'll talk about it in detail uh, in this video. But now let's quickly focus on the exterior profile of the car. So here as you can see the car surely looks really very beautiful, really very nice in terms of the design. Moving on to the rear profile of the car. Here as you can see this is how the rear profile again looks like. Uh, there are a few sharp you know, edges they have provided in order to uh, add aerodynamics in fact the car actually gets a lot of aerodynamics uh, bits right here talking about the tail lights obviously these are your led tail lights provided right here there is a reflector provided i think this is for your towing hook and here you have fake air vents provided fake uh, exhaust vents the original one is somewhere over here I don't know if you guys are able to see it right now. Here you have your Mercedes logo. Here you have your A200 badge. And below this, obviously, you can basically open the boot by you pressing a button right here. So as soon as you press the button right here, there's the 405 liters of boot space which you have in the Mercedes A class. Very useful boot. You can actually load in quite a lot of luggage as well. Here you have some space provided. Here again, they have provided some space. And below this, you obviously have your spare wheel kept. And the tire of the spare, the size of the spare wheel. I think this one is a 19 inch spare wheel provided. Okay. So it is 125.70 R19. I am surprised actually because the main uh, wheel size is 17 inches and the spare wheel which you get right here is a 19 inch wheel. So that is again a very good thing because most of the times uh, we have seen that uh, automakers, car manufacturers uh, do provide a smaller rim size for the spare wheel but here the case is opposite now let's really have a look at the tire profile so here as you can see this is the tire profile which you have at all uh, four wheels so this is 205 55 r70 the design of the alloy wheels again looks quite nice i would say there's this uh, glossy black treatment with silver finishing and the mercedes benz logo right in the center and again the, this is how the car looks like from the side as well so that is similar moving on to the mirror by the way here you have a puddle lamp so below this here you have a light which actually uh, projects on the ground at night 
that is about it so guys i think i have covered most of the things on the exterior front front of the car now it's time to quickly get inside the car and let me show you guys the features which you have in the fabulous mercedes a class a200 so starting off from the steering wheel so guys now i'm inside the car and here as you can see the here you basically have a leather wrapped completely finished in leather wrapped uh, steering wheel let me shut the door it actually shuts with a proper third and here as you can see it looks really very beautiful the way uh, it uh, shows mercedes right here so uh, let me switch on the car first so here you have your engine start stop button as soon as you press it by the way this is how the car starts and uh, yeah now we are all set to talk about the interior of the car so this is the leather wrap steering wheel which you have feels really nice to hold i'll also talk about the handling of the car by the end of the video when i start talking about the performance here you have your obviously your horn which sounds like this and uh, here you have a few buttons provided so from here you can actually increase and decrease the volume from here you can uh, basically toggle through this particular screen by the way these both these screens are 10.25 inch screens provided right here now here you have uh, a few buttons again provided so from here you can toggle through your instrument cluster so as soon as you press your home button it will actually show you home like this and here as you can see from here you can basically toggle through the things so here you have assistance here you have telephone here you have navigation now let me get into navigation so here it will show you like this this is how it shows the navigation from here you can basically get back and let me show you guys what all other things do you have right here so here as you can see it will show you trip analysis so here it will show a basic few information i hope you guys are able to see the screen properly okay so this this is the basic information which it shows you actually there are a lot of things to talk about this car and i have limited time right now but anyways i'll try to cover as much as possible so that you guys can enjoy the full video of the car uh getting into styles now here the it's it really looks uh, quite nice for the instrument cluster here you can basically change a few uh, displays so this is the classic one you can basically get into sport mode as well let me show you guys how it actually looks there's the sport mode this is how it looks in the sport mode and let's get get into menu again and the 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 touch feather touch right here could have worked a little bit more you know intu intuitively i would say it takes a slight amount of time i think because of the fingerprints on it so this is the progressive one okay now getting again into menu and it actually gets to media i don't know why it gets to media every time i get back and this is for the understated i think so yeah so that is about it so these are the displays which you can basically choose from by the way this car actually gets 8 year of warranty on your engine as well as your on your gearbox now talking about this screen so here as you can see the touch response in terms of the touch response it is really very nice this is a 10.25 inch screen which you have right here the sound quality is amazing and i'm not playing an audio right here because of the copyright issue but you can definitely check it out on instagram now let me show you guys the navigation so this is how beautiful it looks in the navigation and uh, here it shows you comfort so you can basically choose the seat setting right here and here it will show you information let's see what information it shows you so, so here you basically get the vehicle information here it will show you engine here it will show average fuel consumption and owner manual let's get into settings so your active brake assist which means that the car automatically applies brake when it uh, senses a car ahead so here it is showing you like this so you can basically you know uh, keep it on e early medium late as well let me switch it off and here it is showing you attention assist and there's esp as well so these are the things which the uh, the music system actually the infotainment screen actually shows you it also gets uh, connected car features by the way so it obviously gets your geo fence your intrusion alert and etc so you can basically download the i think the my mercedes app something like that and you can basically pair it to your the screen 
now here you have five ac vents provided these are the five ac vents i hope uh, you guys are able to see the ambient lighting inside the cabin now this car actually gets 64 ambient lights which looks pretty nice right here as you can see here you also do get your ambient lights provided and here again you have your ambience ambient lights now here you obviously have your controls for your air conditioning below this here you have your wireless charging pad here you have two cup holders provided there this is your touchpad which actually provides you haptic feedback as well so here you can basically toggle through like this it is pretty smooth actually in terms of the touch and here you have this button so you can basically change through the different modes so here it shows you dynamic here you can get into eco mode it basically provides you a better fuel efficiency this is for your comfort this is for your sport and this is for your individual so you can basically uh, change all the parameters as per your driving uh, style and this is to again get into this menu and this is for your favorite this is basically for your volume and now i love the way they have done this so here you have this knurled finish on your uh, volume this thing what do you call volume rocker and here you have ma navigation map radio media telephone etc here this is basically to just keep your hand on this and here you have your glove box again there, there are two uh, usb uh, type c ports provided right here and that is about it now let me show you guys the glove box of the car so this is the amount of space which you have in the glove box of the mercedes a class here you have your automatic ir vm and here you obviously have uh, your sun visor with a vanity mirror provided and light as well here you again have your sun visor with a vanity mirror and a light now let's talk about the main feature which is the panoramic roof so let me first open it for you guys so that i can show you the amount of space which you have in the sunroof so you can basically it is pretty wide i would say so you can easily stand outside and you can basically click pictures but when you are driving the car i would not really suggest you to do that now let's close it back so that is how it goes back by the way this car also gets activated charcoal filter so it actually filters the air inside the cabin here as you can see when you close your the sunroof the blind the sun blind actually goes behind now let's close the sun blind as well let me show you guys how it actually closes so that this is how it, it actually closes but i don't really want to close it because i want sunlight inside the car so yeah that is about it so guys i think i have covered most of the things about the interior as well as the exterior of the car i have explained you each and every feature of the car now this car obviously uh, gets uh, seven airbags abs evd brake assist traction control system esp as well and yeah that's about it uh, talking about the door pads now here you have your controls for your light this is for your uh, parking electronic parking brake here it actually provides you three uh, memory seat functions so if you have the different uh, members at your place uh if someone is six feet tall someone is five feet tall someone is five and a half feet tall so you can basically change their uh their seat as per their comfortable driving position so this is the memory function which you have right here and here from you can obviously you know uh, get the seat move the seat ahead and behind like this i have made a separate shot on this video and actually the this thing the seat belt also moves uh as soon as you change your driving position so that is again very cool feature here you have this chrome finish on your door handle as well as here and from here you can open the boot of the car here you have a button for your lock and unlock these are your power window switches from here you can obviously you know fold the mirrors and here you can easily accommodate a one liter bottle there is again some space here so guys i think i have covered most of the things inside the car now it's time to get in the second row and let me show you guys the amount of space which you have in the car so let me switch off the car for you guys so here you have a puddle lamp by the way and now i am in the second row of the car so here as you can see this is the amount of space which is which is available so guys now i'm inside the car and as you can see this is the amount of space in the second row of the car you can uh, basically stretch your feet below the driver as well as co-driver uh, co seat but uh, there is not much space actually to stretch your feet in terms of the knee room you have decent knee room right here the underside support is also really very good the headroom is also pretty decent i would say in terms of shoulder room you can easily get two adults and a kid in the middle by the way here you have this uh, armrest provided with two cup holders so that is again a good feature to have and uh, middle passenger 
uh, will have to adjust a bit by the way by the way yeah, you also do get three adjustable headrests so let me show you guys for instance if you get a middle passenger right here so the middle passenger obviously won't be able to keep their foot on this particular hump so they will have to manage a little bit you can easily you can get uh, three people at the rear but uh, it is better to get two adults and a kid right here yeah you also do get air vents provided so these are your ac vents and below this you obviously have some space to keep stuff this is your uh, uh usb c 5 volt port provided so basically the rear passenger can charge their phones yeah you have a magazine holder where you can keep your magazine as well as newspaper here you again have one yeah you have a light placement which actually glows pretty well and here again you have this soft treatment provided on this uh, hook so here you can basically uh, hang your blazers in case you are going out for a very important meeting and yeah that is about it that is about the second row space of the car now moving on to the door pads here as you can see you can easily accommodate a small bottle right here you won't really be able to accommodate a one liter bottle but you can accommodate a small half a liter bottle right here and here again you have this uh, silver treatment on the door handles and here you have your power window switch and that is about it and you can basically you know uh, have you can basically enjoy this view from the second row of the car here you have this very nice sunroof as well so i think i've covered most of the things on the exterior as well as interior of the car now it's time to start talking about the performance of this car so let's quickly start off with the engine now this car is powered by a 1.4 liter petrol engine which produces 163.15 ps of power and 250 newton meters of torque now in terms of the refinement the engine is extremely refined so you don't really hear a lot inside the cabin and when you rev it hard and fast when you get it into sport mode the engine actually sounds really very sporty so that is again a very good thing about the engine in terms of the power and pickup it actually provides you very good amount of grunt from the engine now this engine comes paired to a 7 speed dct transmission on the diesel you have a 8 speed dct here you have a 7 speed dct which is really very quick with shift but uh, if you want a more engaging and sporty drive you can basically get it into manual mode and you can basically use the pedal shifters for that so that is about the engine and gearbox now now moving on to my personal favorite aspect of a car which is the ride and handling balance so i'm happy to report that the ride quality is not very stiff at the same time it is not very soft either so it is a combination between it is somewhere in the middle i would say the ride quality provides you a decent amount of comfort over bad roads but when you take it over bad roads you will have to uh, take it a bit slow and when you drive it on the highways when you punch the throttle completely you when you go uh, pedal to the metal it actually you know pulls quite nicely and it also stays glued to the road so that is again a very good thing and one more thing which uh, imp which has impressed me which has actually impressed me about the a class is the fact that the ha handling is really very good the steering wheel provides you with very good amount of feel and feedback around the car and it's it actually weighs up pretty well as well so that is again a very good thing about the car that it actually gives a tough competition to its competitors in terms of the handling department as well so it provides you with comfort it provides you with uh, engaging drive as well it provides you with very good amount of handling as well so that is again a very good thing about the car that is the positive point by the way now moving on to the safety features like i told you it gets seven airbags abs ebd brake assist there is uh, esp as well so they, these are the uh, safety features which you have in the a class moving on uh, to the braking now the braking is also decent the braking is actually progressive in nature so that is again a very good thing about the car uh, now guys I think I have covered most of the things about the Mercedes A class uh, I think uh, now moving on to the verdict and the pricing of the car now this being the top end variant now obviously you also do get the A200D which gets the diesel engine but we'll talk about the petrol in this uh, in this video I'll, talk, uh, I'll try to make a separate video on the diesel variant so the price of the petrol variant is 41.55 lakh rupees ex showroom on road it might cost you somewhere around 50 lakh rupees at this price point if you want a car which has a refined a powerful engine which has a smooth drive which has excellent uh, you know ride and handling balance i would say so this is the car to actually go with it also do, it also does get a decent amount of space like i showed you so yeah that is about it i hope i have covered most of the things about the car in terms of the safety features as well it comes loaded with a lot of safety features like pre-tensioner there is also it actually rises the hood uh, in case of any accident for pedestrian safety so these are the safety features which the a class gets i hope you guys like this video i'll see you guys in the next one 
Until then, drive safe, ride safe. Bye bye. If you have any question, you can surely ask it to me on Instagram as well as in the comment section down below, and I'll be more than happy to answer most of your doubts. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, drive safe, ride safe. Bye bye.